Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're gonna cover a quick Flutter flow tips and trick where you are able as an admin to create user accounts, allowing them to log into your app and then subsequently also storing those information in the user's collection. This is particularly important if you are an admin of an app and you want to create users without them having to sign up themselves. This applies to large organizational apps or even just normal day-to-day -day small scale apps where you are locking access behind uh, the admin instead of having a general sign up page. So I've already got AI uh, to generate this page for me where we are just gonna have some simple information such as the display name, the email and the password and the button to create an account. So what I'm envisioning here is that um, the user, the admin themselves will enter the new user's display name new user's email and their password. And once they create the, click create account, it will create that authentication, email authentication for this user and subsequently store the display name and the email to the user's document. So the key method we're gonna be using is a cloud function, which I'll paste um, to a link to under the description. So it's a quite a simple cloud function. It's an on-call cloud function where there's a range of parameters where it's like display name, contact email and password and there's a return value of true or false, depending on whether it's succeeded or failed. And what it's doing is it calls the admin.off create user where the email is the contact email being passed and the password is a password. And subsequently it stores those information in the user's collection here, where the display name is the display name argument. Um, the email is the email being passed and finally the create a time. I'm just gonna store it there. It's a very general information. Of course, you can adjust this, um, code here to your liking to add additional fields required. So let's quickly configure this um, from a front end perspective. So what I'll firstly do is add an action flow. So I have already created a form here, which ticks off all these fields to be required. So the first action I'm going to add is uh, validate form. So validate. And then I'm going to validate this form one. And then it would basically terminate if it fails. And the next action I wanna check is whether these two parts were exactly the same. The reason why I've entered two password field is allows the confirm password, just to make sure the user did not accidentally type um, a password incorrectly. And then they create this user and we don't know what that password is. So I'm gonna create that conditional, where the condition is basically a single condition, um, widget state of enter password. So is the first password equal to the confirm password, enter. If it is, then we'll go to the true flow. If it's not, false. Let's just say we throw an alert information dialog, password mismatch, if they are not the same. Okay, and then so I terminate here. Now what's next? In terms of the true flow, let's add that cloud function um, that I've already deployed. So the cloud function is create user, I believe, and then the Contact email is basically the widget fields email address. Um, the display name is the widget state display name and the password. Because the password is now the same as we checked earlier, we can either use the password here or the confirmed password. And I'm just gonna use the confirmed password here. And if it succeeded, it will be true. If it's false, it's like this, right? I mean, instead of this, instead of succeeded, which will always succeed, you can do a return data type of true or false or whatever, right? But I'm just gonna <clears throat> just have it. I really don't need a conditional here. So that's basically the overall flow of this cloud function. So let's test this out to see how it works, right? Let's, do see, let's test this out. Okay, now that the app has loaded, let's uh, test this out, right? So I'm gonna write a name of uh, Stephen L and the email is gonna be Stephen S, uh, Stephen one, two, three at steven.com. And then the password, I'm just gonna enter some random digit, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's press create account. So now the cloud function is running. Um, and then once it runs, it will be successful. Okay, so now it's done. All right, let's refresh the authentication page of this project on Firebase to see that it successfully created an account. So voila, you can see here the identifier has been created and the UID is this. Now let's go go to Firebase uh, Firestore and then also look at whether 
the document has been created with the relevant information. So if I go to users collection and then the exact ID, you can see here the display name is there, the creator time is there, and the email is also there. Um, of course, you can add additional fields and additional metadata depending on your requirement by amending the cloud function. So that's how it works. Um, so I hope this tutorial helped you improve your Photo Flow skills in addition, utilize cloud function to create user accounts as admin. Remember to comment, like, subscribe for more content on Flutterflow and see you next time.